Welcome back to Hot Seat. David Kennedy, let us uh, present our first, our first guest on the Hot Seat. All right, first up on the Hot Seat tonight, Wally, is Illegal Alien, uh, Illegal Alien Supporter, <laughs> Manuel Lopez. Manuel Lopez. Yeah, give him a nice round of applause. There he is. He just called you an illegal alien, well, uh, and I want to see your green card before we go on with this program. See what it says, Wally. My, 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 the, the green card I have is a $100 bill. Is that good enough? All right. Let's, <laughs> now, let's get serious but, here. But, but actually, as far, as far as illegal alien, that, that term is out the window. We use the I know, undocumented, undocumented workers. I'm tired of that. I say they're illegal aliens. That's, you know, they love, you guys love to use buzzwords. You may say undocumented worker. I say illegal alien. That's what I say. It, it, it's a matter of interpretation because the, the first uh, pilgrims uh, got to this country in 1620, and we had Hispanics here in, in 1540s. And next year, our presence will be here 444 years. And the uh, history of the United States has only 200 years of existence uh, as of 1976. So Spanish has been spoken here for 444 years. And it's a matter of who the illegal aliens really are. Now, Manuel, listen, you've got to be reasonable if that's possible. Now, listen to me a minute. You've got to know that th it, it, this it's is... It's thoroughly possible. Wait, right, this is the United States of America. We now have a lot of people unemployed. We have illegal aliens pouring across the border from Mexico. And they are, whether you say it or not, they are taking away jobs from legal American citizens. And I'm sick and tired of it. I want them all getting out of here. Your, your undocumented workers are taking jobs from documented American citizens. That's, that's not true, Wally. The, it is true, The, the man, real Wally. illegals are the corporations that go to Southeast Asia and take the jobs away in the high-tech fields, and, and they try to pay low wages. But the undocumented come here. They work cleaning latrines. They oh, work no, in the strawberry patches. As a matter of fact, students were called out of Fullerton uh, State University. They went out to the strawberry patches and only lasted about maybe six or seven hours, and they had to get back the undocumented people to do the job there. Manual. Uh, th Wait, let me interrupt. Let me interrupt you. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of hearing how the illegals will only do things like picking strawberries in strawberry patches. I have news for you. I have a lot of college students in this audience and who, were, yeah, and who, and who write to me all over the country and say, Wally, we go to get jobs as busboys at car washes. They won't hire any of us because everyone is an illegal alien who can't even speak the English language. Now, don't tell me, don't tell me that they're only taking jobs in strawberry patches and picking cotton or whatever else. I'm telling you this. The illegal aliens are working in restaurants. They're working in stores. They're working in car washes. They are taking away hundreds and thousands of jobs of American citizens right here in Southern California, and I don't like it one day. And I say this. Any, any American citizen who is caught hiring illegal aliens should go to jail for it. That's what I say. The, uh, it, it's been proven by statistics, Wally, that the college students have been spoiled rotten, that they're, un oh, uh, they're, they're, really? they're, they're, they're unwilling to do the job. As a matter of fact, I'd like to find out how many guys from USC want to work in a car wash this next summer. I, I, I doubt it. All right, I doubt it. Now they I doubt it. There they are. I, okay. I doubt it. I have had literally hundreds of letters, and I want to tell you, I go into restaurants all the time. I ask somebody to bring me a glass of water. They say, no comprende, senor. Well, I'm tired, and I'm also it's tired. It's a good reason for you to learn Spanish, Wally, at this point. Now, all right, now, oh, wait a minute. Now, right. that's something else I want to talk about. <laughs> Let's get into this bilingual education business. I, uh, I don't believe in this. This is the, you say the, uh, the students that come over here who only speak Spanish should be taught in their native tongue. I say baloney. Anybody who wants to come in this country and live here as a citizen should learn to read and write the English language or get out of here. When, when, when you stop to think that... Spanish, Spanish have been spoken here uh, for 444 years. Before the first pilgrim got off the Mayflower, we spoke Spanish here. I don't care. It was Mexico then. No, it wasn't. It was Spain. It was I'm Spain. Telling you, and it was the continental United States. I don't care and what they Spanish were... has been spoken here culturally, I don't care. historically. It's part of our tradition. It's a it very is rich not language. Our tradition. It's your tradition. It, no, it's, this it's is everybody's the United tradition. States of America. The official language in this country is English. And if you people don't want to learn to speak English, then go back to Mexico where you can speak in your own language. <laughs> So, I'm also...
so sick and tired of when I go down and I read my ballots and I see the ballots printed in English on one side and in Spanish on the other. If the person cannot read the ballot in the English language, then he shouldn't be able to vote either. I want to say one other thing. You talk about... Please don't play with the microphone. Okay. You're going to break it. Go ahead. <laughs> I think he is an illegal alien. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I want to tell you this. As a perfect example, now, are you from Mexico originally? No, I'm not. I'm from Texas. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm from, and, and all of us are from Texas, aren't all right. we? Now, listen, when I, when I visited Mexico recently... What part of Mexico did you visit? I visited Mexico City, and I went all around. I did not see anybody that had signs up for me printed in English. As when a matter of fact, in, in Mexico, the Mexicans... Uh, affect and appreciate uh, the English language quite a bit. As a they matter do fact, not practice. If I go to school, do. wait a minute. If you talk to a taxi driver in Mexico City, you'll find that he speaks English. I'm not talking about taxi driver. Manual, what uh, I'm, I'm saying, about manual, Everybody manual, in Mexico wants to learn wait English. They want to come here. And Let they want, me tell they want you what I'm trying to put a point, and you, you want me to say it. If I were to go to school in Mexico, they would not teach me in English. I would have to learn to speak Spanish, and you know it. No, that's, that's untrue. That's untrue because... They because don't have bilingual education they, in Mexico. They do. As a matter of fact, the education in Mexico is like it, like it is in Europe. For example, in Switzerland, you, you can learn about, about three, or three languages simultaneously. In Mexico, you can learn English and Spanish at the same time. And I think that we can do it here. It makes sense historically and functionally because if you have people that know a little bit of Spanish, you can beef up their grammar in Spanish and eventually learn English. But, Manual. But you, you should never it, be intimidated by another language. And it isn't it, fair to all. What about all of the Chinese people? Why can't we also have the have the ballots printed in Chinese? We do. We do in San Francisco and some we, of those areas. All right. What about what about all the Italians and the French and all? Why is it only that we have ballots printed in Spanish? Then you're discriminating about against all the other people who come from other parts of the world. Why is it only, why is it only that, that when you walk into a post office here, you only see signs printed in English and Spanish? It, it, what about all the Italians and the Germans who also cannot speak English? It, you are not being fair to no, them. No, that's not true. It, we're being very fair. It's a matter of numbers. When, uh, oh, sure, it, they're being fair. They can learn to speak Spanish, in, too, in, right? In uh, 1990, 25% uh, of the population of the United States is going to be Hispanic. So oh, hold, it, it makes hold a lot on. of sense. We'll get back in a minute. Don't go away. We'll take some questions from the audience.